Join us on April the 19th, 2024, as we bring you the return for the first time in over 15 months, the Friday Night Ticket. It returns to Australia Worldwide Gaming this April on the 19th, as we bring to you our launch live stream of The Simmering Barn. Join us on Friday the 19th from 7pm in Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, Hobart and Queensland, Australia. 9, uh, 10 a.m. in the UK, 11 a.m. Central Europe and Austria as well, and 5 a.m. Eastern USA and 2 a.m. West Coast USA on Friday the 19th with the Friday Night Ticket episode 36 live with the Aussie Don here at Australia Worldwide Gaming. Now on our upcoming live stream, set the reminder now. Hey, hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to board. Thank you very much for joining me. It is that time of the week again. It is the All Aboard Live episode 81. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't uh, know by now, uh, if, uh, last Sunday was Easter Sunday and uh, our uh, 80th edition of All Aboard was uh, sh was on the day before Good Friday. So it was on Friday. Uh, it was on the Thursday um, of that particular week. Uh, so yeah, we uh, have the full replay of the 80th edition, if you uh, missed that one, now up on our YouTube channel. But hey, we're back on our normal fr uh, Sunday tradition, uh, that is All Aboard Live, and you're with the Aussie Don, your free time community screenshot contest winner in 2023, week 16, I won Deutsche Bahn week for Train Sim Worlds contest, and I am a two time Train Sim Classic uh, screenshot contest winner, week 6 and 26 in 2023. Uh, with Sunrise Week, with 20, Week 26, and Week 6 was the first one uh, that I won, actually, and that was Landmarks Week. Uh, so, yeah, uh, with my beautiful photo of uh, looking at Hell's Gate Bridge uh, with the New York skyline in the backdrop. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Get involved in our live chat today. Keep it clean. Keep it mean. You know what I mean? Valvoline. All right. I'll give it a little nice promo there like WWE does. All right. All right. Uh, if we want to uh, throw in any more, we can put in some, uh, we can put in some uh, rival to Logan Paul Monster Energy. Yes, I have one of those every morning with the Monster Energy juice. It is a beautiful drink. Monster juice. Drink it today. All right. There we go with that. All right. Uh, so, uh, how are we doing, everybody? Uh, if you're new to our YouTube channel, welcome aboard. If you're a returning customer, welcome back to the station. I am your original OG of Train Sim World. I've been doing Train Sim World here on our YouTube channel since 2019, but I'm an OG of the game since 2017 in the alpha stages. And how are we all doing? Uh, we are rolling. We are rolling. Uh, got a. Uh, we're going to be posting up Midweek World of Trains later on today. Actually, I've got Midweek World of Trains organised. I just don't know what I'm doing for Tuesday. I know what I'm doing for Wednesday because <laughs> uh, we had nice little, uh, nice little uh, Creators Club paint job came up, and I thought it'll be a nice colour scheme for the backdrop uh, for the Midweek World of Trains. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's organised. That's uh, going to be posted up later today. I'm not sure what I'm doing for Tuesday. Uh, for Tuesday, yep. Anyway, uh, let's talk mods. Um, there's nothing. <laughs> I can't. I can't talk about mods. Unfortunately, there is. Uh, I normally, before I start the stream, I, I give you guys the latest updates on on Train Sim World mods for the PC players, uh, like us that like to play where the big boys play and on the PC where the real hardcore plays uh, uh, gamers play. Um, yeah, the end. If you're playing on console, I respect that. But um, yeah, I um, I can't get back to console. I'm a PC player through and through. So yeah, uh, this is where the big boys play. So um, yeah, no new mods. Uh, the only thing I have to say that uh, the Train Sim community has done, the trainsimcommunity.com, where the main page for the mods, uh, there's no, nothing coming through trains.cz as well. Um, yeah, uh, Train Sim community, uh, they have added a new category for Train Sim World uh, with timetables. 
there's a timetables area there now, so everybody can add the uh, modded timetables uh, into that particular category. Uh, so yeah, that's been categorized now for the, um, it's not in PC ed editor uh, like it was originally. Uh, so the uh, if you're wondering where the Tees Valley Line uh, timetable is, the Ninja Time Barn and all that, that's been moved to the brand new timetables uh, area on the Train Sim community website. All right, so that's all there is uh, to talk about mods. Um, I'm not going to give you a page or anything because there's no need to. Uh, there's nothing new coming through. Unfortunately, it's been a very quiet weekend. Everybody must be on their on their summer vacations already, eh? All right. <laughs> well, we're, we're out of summer here in Sydney. And, um, yeah, wherever you are around Sydney, hopefully you're, you're not floating down the road. Uh, it has been one hell of a wild uh, few days here in Sydney. We've got floodwaters that are still, you know, in places... Uh, my mate's backyard out near Penrith was flooded and uh, yeah, we were swimming up the canal. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, not pretty. The backyard was, uh, yeah, pretty, yeah, flooded. Uh, so yeah, it was um, get our little jets, get our little boats out, our little remote control boats and have a battle. It was fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's rock and roll. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, well, we're not going to Ma uh, Midlands, mate. Well, that probably gives away what we're doing on Wednesday. <laughs> That's what we are doing Wednesday. There you go, Midlands Bay Line. But we are doing something special on there. We're taking a Class 170 on there, actually, uh, which is the train from the, um, from the, what's it, uh, from the uh, fired circle. And don't worry, we've got mods to take care of it. Don't worry, it doesn't sound like a dog box. So relax. Um, Itzy165 still hasn't done a mod for it. I don't know what the hell's going on with that bloke. Um, I'm really pissed off, to be honest. Um, I really sh should have done something by now. But anyway. Uh, let's, let's go to our feature presentation for today. Uh, get involved in our live chat. Our live chat is nice and quiet at the moment. I don't see anybody in there. Um, I know Chris said something before the stream, but Chris, can you please just save it for the stream, man? Don't do it post-stream. Because I'm not going to bother looking at it. Um, do it before. Uh, do it when the stream's on. When you, if you want to chat. Um, right. This mod I can. Uh, this route I can actually pump the pump it up a bit. Actually, let's get it up to 110. Right. Um, let's make sure everything is organised. Damn thing on. You know what this has done? It's done a damn. Uh, it's stuck me up. That's what it's done. There we go. Now we got them. I don't know what's happening with the saves lately. They're just not saving like it should be. Let's release that. Make sure that that's up. We always got to do that on this particular route. Let's make sure that we've got the PSI is up and running now. Yeah, we do. Um, actually, I don't think it's. Is it? Oh no, it's got the build. I thought it just said that it out of order. It was in. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't be standing there. Yeah, you are disappearing, are you? Yeah, yeah, because you're going to come flying out of the train like you're supposed to be. They're not meant to be standing there. They're meant to be coming out. Of That never used to do that. Never used to do that. The old NPC system is broken. Anyway, I still haven't done any testing. I haven't had the chance. All right. Speaking of mods, uh, before we do get going, um, there is another simulator that I do do a hell of a lot of here on our YouTube channel, and I do mods for, and that's American Truck Simulator. I do upload the videos only with that game now, but. Um, I can confirm today we have released the final three uh, reworked uh, TSA SWR Maxi Translator trailers uh, paint job packs uh, with the SWR, the Godfather's SWR uh, trailers paint job pack. Uh, number nine, number 10, and number 11 have been released today at our site at mega.nz. So at the community area, there is a link that will take you to our mods at, uh, for American Truck Simulator. Uh, so all 11 reworks are completed. 
25 skins in each pack, including a bonus one there in uh, one of those packs, though. We've got uh, um, Jim Person's Transport, I've done recently. In real life, they just got a plain um, orange belly deck, uh, B double belly deck. And I have done a, and if you don't believe me, go to my shorts area and you'll see that uh, I've seen a, the, the same truck and trailer that I rolled with on my, my gameplay uh, in real life. Uh, so I decided to do one with the company logo on the trailer and one we're out. So, yeah, with, uh, I thought I might get a bit of controversy if I only release it with the logo. I thought I'll do the right thing. And uh, give you guys the option. So yeah, I had to put a bonus one in one of those packs. So you have the option for both um, logo or wow logo. So anyway, that completes the, the reworks. I'm now concentrating on concentrating on the uh, 12th pack now, and I I've got to get it done this week. I've got to get these AI traffic packs out there to freight market one of that. So, yeah, that's my main focus this week. Because uh, after this week, folks, I'm going to be um, doing less with the uploaded videos, by the way, for a couple of weeks. Uh, school holidays are on, and I have to look after my daughter while, I'm, while the mother's at work. So I'm going to be out of the studio for a fair bit uh, throughout the next few weeks. Uh, so uh, I'll be doing less. Uh, in regards to uploaded videos, will I be doing less with shorts? No. I'll be out and about, so... If I get the chances, I'll be doing shorts, don't worry. My daughter's like me, she's a rail fan, she loves trains. <laughs> she doesn't love me doing the shorts with her, though, she hates it. No. But yeah, when it comes to trains, it's a different story. She's all for the new Metro coming out. She absolutely, she's looking forward to it as much as what I am. To be part of the Metro here in Sydney. Really looking forward to it. We're doing a... Pardon me. We're doing a full length run on here today, actually. It's been a while since I've actually been on a whole trip here on the uh, rapid transit so I thought it was time to do a big one so yeah we're going for more than an hour here today This train station is brought to you by Fruit Loops. <laughs> no more WWE now, please. <laughs> I see the comment actually on WrestleMania. And that's why I was watching the highlights of the recently. Uh, the good, bad, and the ugly for it. Uh, night one. Um, yeah, I see one comment. Some, someone said that. Uh, they should call this era the um, advertising era. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I knew someone wouldn't say that. I just put on there, it makes it interesting now that The Rock and that actually won, because now, you know, it just spices up the main event, you know. You don't know what's going to happen now, who's going to come out, whatever, you know. And some, you know, people, a lot of people, including myself, where I'm thinking The Rock. It's uh, got a few um, arch rivals in the past. Hogan's one of them, definitely. Um, Austin is the big one. So I'm, just, oh, I'm hoping Austin comes out and does something. That'd be so good to bring back the old school. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that because of yeah, Triple H coming out saying that the new era begins now. And I'm thinking, oh no, well, if they do that, that's sort of not starting a new era, is it? <laughs> Won't talk about it anymore. Let's uh, talk trains. So yeah, um, roadmaps this week, as predicted. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you guys 
sit here and listen to a bunch of shit for 20 minutes like some um, ambassadors and, and other YouTube channels will go on about you know for 10, 15, 20 minutes whatever how long they want to talk about the roadmap I'm not going to have you guys sit here on a borafong and dribble dribble about it I'm going to talk about it on our live stream as I always do with you guys live uh, my thoughts what are your thoughts you get involved in our live chat you, we talk about it you know um, your maybe su your suggestions for train sim world uh, leading into the future uh, big rumors are going around that we're going to be getting a whole new train sim soon um, that either being train sim world 5 and we're going down real engine 5 and we're starting all over again and technically it's going to be train sim world 2 uh, officially but um, yeah there's a lot of, lot of speculation stuff going on again um, as it always is because everyone's always looking at the future aren't they They're always looking at the future Ooh, we, just, we just worry about the present let's just worry about the present about now what's happening now what we're doing now we're on the rails we're having some fun we're on the rapid transit one of the classics we're talking trains along the way yeah great but um, yeah I don't want to look that far ahead and I, um, I, some people are saying that we're getting it this year, but no. It's, um, it's clear in my eyes, I, I, we're getting it next year. I really see us getting a season two. That might put into perspective uh, how a lot of people have been saying that we're going to get a new uh, uh, updated Long, uh, Long Island Railroad. I'm thinking that we might get updated routes that are currently in Train Sim World but have been rebuilt again and have been built bigger and better than ever and have more stuff to it and more of this and that. And that's why I'm thinking that if I think that could be the case. If you own the original Train Sim World and the original route, whatever, you'll get a certain discount. It doesn't matter what platform you're on. Um, unfortunately, the next era of Train Sim World will not be PlayStation 4 and, and Xbox One. Hey, thank Christ, because I've been asking for that cut for so long. Um, hey, PC editor. Yeah. See, this is going to be the phone thing about it. PC editor won't be there on the next era. Obviously, it's not Unreal Engine 5. Um, but the good thing about it, it yeah, they'll they won't. So they won't stop Transit World 4 support and all that. Um, releases, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, that's why I'm thinking we'll get a whole new sim. And not, not just call it so-and-so, Transit World. I think it'll be a whole new sim. With Unreal Engine 5. It makes sense. You gotta start fresh. You can't, you can't keep calling it Transit World. But anyway, speculation, rumours, it's fun talking trains. I believe in Freeze a lot too. This would be Dovetail's third train simulation video game if they did do a whole new, new one. Yeah, and I, I believe in Freeze and I think third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, I've got to laugh about it, eh? It's like, yeah, okay. All right, let's see what they do this time. How many bugs are going to be evolved? What's going to be new that's going to cause us to lose our hair? <laughs> Let's wait and see. It's all good. Live chat time. I don't know if we're live or not. Sweet. Just nice and quiet.
Don't forget tomorrow night we're not on for viewer's choice, folks, because uh, for the next few weeks it's going to be my choice. Uh, so we're going to be on live tomorrow night with Train Symbol 4, and we're going to be doing a couple of hours on the London Stutter Jet Line. Uh, so uh, it's going to be lots of fun. I'm looking forward to doing Stutter Jet Line with you guys tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to do passenger services, freight services. I'm going to take a steam steam route, uh, a, a steam bar trip on there too, first time, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I've never done a steam on there yet. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Maybe we'll do some off the rails stuff too, who knows? We'll, we'll see what we can do. Uh, so it'll be lots of fun. Uh, so join us tomorrow night for our subject jet line. We'll be starting at the same time we started tonight. Uh, we were a little bit off cue tonight, actually. I did start the stream and I thought I was live. And I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? And I don't think it's actually triggered. Because um, I got a message from my mate. He said, are you live? Or you? Oh, it hasn't started. And I'm like, okay. Well, it was, it was 8.01. So I'm thinking, okay, what's going on? Um, it turns out that the uh, automatic start wasn't triggered. <laughs> so, unfortunately, yeah. This does happen from time to time. At least I wasn't half an hour late this time. I just I popped up a little chat there anyway. Just to give you guys a little, little, mind, little thing there. Just to... So you, you get the form as quick as possible. Anyway, it's been taken away. Frame rate is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, roadmap this week. Uh, we'll talk about that on the when on midweek while the trains on Wednesday evening. Um, there's a preview for um, a steam logo for uh, another classic steam logo for Train Sim Classic. Um, I'm not keen on that, but if people are keen on that, there's a stream on that on Railfan TV this week with Jamie. Um, I think Iron I think Ironsight Simulations are doing that. Uh, so yeah, that is this week. And I'm just going to run out of the station here. Uh, I think I'll fail this one, actually. Come on, stop. Oh, man. That's a big, big, big blown on that one. Oh, well... Passengers are coming off the train. And then there's another, uh, there's a preview for the uh, Simmering Barn on, um, it'll be Friday morning our time here in Australia. Um, also, folks, to let you guys know, Daylight Saving um, has finished here in Australia. So, uh, Queensland is now with our time. Uh, so, yeah, uh, do know people in Queensland, 8 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. like it was. And people in Western Australia, you guys have moved from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. because now you're two hours behind us here in Sydney, Australia and the east coast of Australia. So we're Eastern Standard Time, EST is what it's under now. Uh, UK, US, you're in your summer time zones now. Uh, so when we're live at 8 p.m. here in the east coast of Australia, we're, six, we're live at 6 p.m. in Western Australia, 7 p, uh, 7 30 p.m. in South Australia, and 11 a.m. UK, 12 p.m. Central Europe, 6 a.m. East Coast USA, and 3 a.m. West Coast USA and uh, 3 a.m. British Columbia USA and uh, Toronto Canada uh, at 6 a.m. Uh, aside from uh, that, if we do any special live streams, just like we're doing on April the Friday the eight, uh, Friday the 19th of April, 
uh, with the Simmering Barn. Uh, it'll be our first live stream of Simmering Barn on the Friday night ticket. And return of the Friday night ticket, first time since January 2023, I think it was. It was early in 2023, I know that, that I last did a Friday night Train Sim World live stream. So, that's normally when I'm away, but I won't be away that night because, uh, yeah, the, D the Train Sim World DLCs have been moved again to Thursdays uh, for the UK. Uh, Tuesdays for the UK uh, were, and now be moved to Thursdays. Uh, this is this is why I said to you guys, I, I, the history pattern of Train Sim World is that DLCs have been moved backs and forwards over the time period from them releasing on a Thursday, um, uh, releasing them on a Tuesday, and then they'll move it to a Thursday, and then they'll move it back to a Tuesday. Uh, where us here in Australia, with the PC versions, they release um, early hours through, they release overnight our time, like early hours in the morning uh, for PC. PC Steam gets it last, and usually PC Steam's around 4, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., something like that, around that time frame. Um, so, yeah. But I think it might be 3 a.m. now, if I remember rightly, because it's a little bit of, a, yeah, it works out better for us. But 3 a.m. still not, <laughs> yeah, good. I won't be streaming at 3 a.m. So, uh, yeah. Especially when you've got the ambassadors already sucking up all the viewership, you know, with previews the day before. So. So yeah, Friday night ticket, uh, so that'll be the first time, and it's because I'm looking after my daughter on through to Friday itself, uh, that's why I can't stream as well, folks, because, you know, I've got to look after, I've got to, you know, look after my priorities, you know, the family comes before anything, you know, family is everything, and I, and I think everybody out there would agree with me, family is everything, you know, doesn't matter where they are, or how bad they might be, or how much you might hate your family members or whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, family is always everything. So, you've got to remember that. Some family members can be real pains, trust me. <laughs> and you, as much as you want to smack them or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry, I have a couple of nephews that I really need to smack over the ear hole, but uh, <laughs> it's just like, you know, at the end of the day, I still love them. But, but, you know, my nephews, that's it. They're a couple of years between each other, but um, yeah. They've got money, but that doesn't mean anything. You know, it doesn't mean, it doesn't matter how much money they've got. No, they still, they still have to bow down to their uncle. <laughs> Bitterfield's next, uh, Wolfen Bitterfield actually, it's, um, yeah, I think Bitterfield after that is, uh, it's a couple stations away actually, yeah, yeah, Bitterfield's a couple stations away. I think this is the station with the Wolfen on the, uh, on the, uh, big building on the side here, if I remember rightly, it's on the, uh, right side here, yeah, there it is. station not flying at 100 miles per hour this time. Keep forgetting the brakes on this thing when it gets up and running are not really the, not the best.
3D printed as well, which is really cool. Top down view. Passenger behaviour is looking good. Change. Oh, did they? What a score. 41 8. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no way. The Dolphins are playing some pretty, pretty good footy actually. Yeah, this was the only way you could play this route actually back in the days, uh, you know, like in the original Transcend World days before the uh, more, uh, the updated timetable uh, got added to the game. Uh, you, you used to only be able to uh, do the 70 minute services along here, so you can only do point point like point to point like the whole route. So couldn't do any anything in between the 10 minute services, the 20 minute services, half an hour services, you know, none of the uh, smaller services along here and um, I for one was one of the people that were calling for updated timetable where we could have options for smaller trips along here you know so because um, not everybody likes to get on and do a whole length of a route you know what I mean Some, a lot of people have only got a certain amount of time they want to especially like myself that likes to come in and do a couple hours of a stream, you know, two to three hour streams and, uh, or two and a half hour streams and, you know, give you a mixture of different types of routes and services along our, our live streaming action. So I don't really like to tend to come in and do the, uh, these hour plus trips. Uh, but I thought, you know, this is a sort of a time of, now, now we've had a couple DLC releases, uh, a lot of streamers have flogged the crap out of them and I've, yeah, I've done a bit of them here and there around launch and everything. Um, you've seen me more so go back to the Suffragette line over the course of that being released, but only because that's, you know, up there now in the top three train set world routes of all time, in my opinion. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's... Incredible route, I have to say that much. Especially now, I've got all the you know great mods for it and everything. But uh, it's not the point. Like it's just yeah, great, yeah, great route. And a route that was actually on my wish, wish list along with the five circle. But uh, yeah, Rivet dropped the ball massively on that. Um, with, with certain areas, the bridge and everything's perfect. Like that's been beautifully well done. Uh, I have to say that much. But uh, once again, they dropped the ball with the, the colouring of the the tracks and it's just now we've got the mod and everything it's all sorted out but then it was um, wrong anyway console players have to suffer with all these problems uh, because they don't have mods but anyway uh, bit of fields next uh, we are no mods on this route I don't think no we don't no, no. no mods on this route German content you don't really get too many mods for even Austrian content. Um, 
There was a couple little bits and pieces here for release of uh, Vorarlberg at the launch of Train Symbol 4, but nothing real major. And it, the people that have done sound mods and everything for the German stuff, they've always had problems with the game. They, they, seriously, yeah. After their couple's stuff up, so, and I downloaded, I refused to download anything from that particular people. Because, yeah, they don't know how to mod. And as a modder myself that does paint jobs and everything for American Truck, yeah, I know where I'm coming from. Because uh, it's taken me a long time to learn how to do, you know, mods better and that with the paint job size of it and right formats and skills and, you know, doing pinstripes and all that stuff. It comes natural now. But yeah, it took me a long time to learn all that. Coming into Bitterfield, uh, we are joining up on the main uh, with the main line now. Actually, uh, this uh, they do have ICEs run through here in, in reality. Um, cause they come from uh, Dresden, actually, from this uh, particular area. goes up through there, continues up through, down through there, and yeah, you got the bus services and all that run through there. Let's see if they've got one here on the board, actually. Yeah, there, Hamburg, Antuda, there we go, so your IC trip just there, there's one right there. main reason I've kept CIFA off is this, this one makes that damn annoying buzzing sound and I'll give you an example on that buzzer in a second. It's very annoying. If you're wearing headphones, get ready to cover your ears. Pre-warning.
Yeah, I'll be shaking my head this week massively and calling riot uh, if they don't give us any uh, concrete evidence, like, uh, like, not concrete evidence, but photo. They've got to seriously give us details and photos of the San Bernardino line, the, uh, the US route. Because, um, yeah, they've been very, very light on details. They've hardly, you know, given us any information regarding it. And I, I just really think that uh, the U.S. players have been absolutely been rorted in this era of Trank Sim World. You know, like it's uh, this particular last, so I think ever since Trank Sim World 3 more so, especially the freight uh, fans out there, U.S. freight fans. Um, but, yeah, just... US content in general has just absolutely been screwed around, you know. Look, look at the stuff up they did with uh, the so-called new timetable for the uh, New York Trenton, you know, like it's, you know, and they give us, they didn't even do anything new to the, uh, the old, the original part of the section, they, you know, like for the route as well, so it was just, yeah, they, um, really need to uh, stop thinking about their own damn country. And, you know. Anyway. So we have Austrian route coming out uh, this month, as predicted. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get the, uh, I, I, I had a feeling we might have got the, uh, the cargo, uh, line pack number two, uh, with the, with the other VTG, uh, wagons. I, I thought we might have got that this month, but, uh, yeah, no news yet on that side. But yeah, I thought we might be a little bit closer to that being released.
I thought I'd give you guys a different angle on coming into a station uh, this time around. It's sort of like a, I don't know, a, a GTA 1 and 2 angle. <laughs> sort of like a 3D model of it, you know, like. GTA is to be top down, uh, not so much on my angle like this, but um, it looks like a bit of a train model, actually, when you do it in this sort of view as well. Like a model train set. Yeah, it's different. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, compared to what we're normally used to. Hope you like that. That was that was good. Four point nine kilometers to our next station. This is the 81st edition of All Aboard Live, where you're with the Aussie Don. Earlier tonight, folks, uh, folks, I posted up another short up on our uh, shorts area. It is also showing up on our train spotting uh, page on our front screen. Another fantastic, uh, I did some rail fanning uh, recently and I've still got a whole heap of shorts still to post up on the channel. Uh, with trucks and trains and uh, posted up another train one earlier today of a two trains leaving the station at once uh, here in Sydney Australia here at Parramatta station uh, we seen an A set passenger train and an M set which is the Millennium train and uh, yeah so A set and an M set leaving the station at the same time so I captured a, a little split second of the uh, A set and more so the uh, M set because the M set's more uh, fascinating. The A set, the A sets are very common, where the M sets are, yeah, they're um, they're the older trains and uh, you know they'll release around the Olympic Games. So, you know, so but they'll build in the late nineties, uh, those particular ones, and yeah, they. Uh, I think they won't be too much longer on the tracks, to be really honest. So I, I reckon within the next 10 years, they'll be slowly phased out. Along with the Tangaras, most likely. I'm hoping I'm wrong, because they're, you know, them and the T-sets, the Tangaras, they're absolutely beautiful. I know the, the original, I know the original Tangaras are uh, no longer, they're, they're retired, you know, the original T-sets, but, because they used to, with the um, Tangaras, the uh, s the first sets were known as the T's and the or the G's actually, if I remember rightly. And uh, yeah, the T sets were the second series. It's just like the Waratahs now. The A sets, uh, the first series of the Waratahs. The B set is the second series of the Waratah. I actually prefer the B sets because the B sets are absolutely beautiful. Man. The sounds of them are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, if I had to say any of the trains are, you know, the V sets, you know, they're over 55 years old trains, they're the oldest trains on the network. I grew up with these things along with the Red Rattlers. Um, the, v, the V sets are just hands down iconic. And I, every time I get on one and I record one, I, it just blows me away because you know, these things are going to be retired soon um, to make way for the uh, Mary Yang. I still haven't been able to capture a Mary Yang because I haven't been that far out and about, really. I haven't been out and about like I normally would go out and about. But yeah, this week I do not have time to do any of it. Well, I'm dead set flat chat this week. Get everything all the, All these mods that I've been working on the last month, I've got to finish them off this week because, yeah, after this week, I'm dead set flat chat with my, you know, all my time's going to my daughter, that's it. Up my daughter for two weeks holidays, and uh, yeah, 
I'll still be here doing the streams through the night time. No, I'll come back to the studio, do my thing like I normally do. So don't fear, folks. We'll be still live on Sunday nights, uh, Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays with Train Sim World, including the Friday the 19th special of the Friday night ticket. So because the route, the new route is releasing through the school holidays, I normally get in and do the introduction uploaded videos uh, for the introductions of the route and the logo and whatnot uh, very quickly. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to post those. I'm going to have to post those over the weekend, that week, particular weekend, because um, I'm not going to get time to to do it. Um, while I'm looking after my daughter, I'm not gonna, you know, put nothing on for her. So if she wants to go out somewhere, she wants, you know, wants to do something, yeah. She's already wanting to go places, so I'm like, okay. Yes. What the? What is going on with me? So there's certain areas in this. I'm gonna find out again what the hell that was that was causing that. So it, it's probably that just there. Look at that. This is just floating there. Like, there's no need for that shit. Like, seriously, you're just causing more frame rate problems than anything. There's simply something up there that wasn't working properly. Anyway. There's no need to put that stuff on the side there. It's just gonna let it float as well. I guarantee that's probably. It's probably been there forever and people haven't recognised or it's just a typical dovetail thing where, you know, we've got so much floating stuff, you know, people report it and it nothing gets done. Yeah. Have we had a post-patch release for uh, Brenham, uh, for the, uh, the Austrian route? Uh, not the Austrian route, the Switzerland route in the mountains? I don't know. I don't think we have. I know we haven't had one for Salzburg, Rosenheim. Uh, we obviously haven't had one for the overground yet. We haven't had one for a fired circle, which, you know, I don't say we'll probably get one for a while. No, I'm rivet. This is normally where you uh, start your like your 20 minute half an hour services on the uh, route folks uh, so you've seen uh, another s barn uh, talent there on the side. So yeah, this is normally a starting point for those shorter services. Well, I think the half an hour ones, if I remember rightly. So yeah, this is a uh, a terminating uh, and start of service station as well.
be free. Live chat has been disabled for the rest of the stream due to all you guys, all you bots, I should say, not even bothering coming to say hello or get involved in our chat tonight. You can all go and fuck yourselves. Coming into Nord. Just to let you guys know, the click bots will be automatically traced by our team of experts that are working tonight behind the scenes on the monetization. They work for the Australian Federal Police. cyber unit. A couple of good friends of mine I've known since uh, primary school who work for them. A couple of good, good, good boys.
Hanabanov is next stop, underground. It's the start of the cross, the original cross city um, route. People don't realize this. This is the cross city uh, route, this particular section coming up. Uh, it's actually the original underground uh, section uh, route in Trang Sim World history. Uh, so people might think the Bakerloo line was the first underground route in Trang Sim World history. <coughs> Wrong answer. This is the one. about to go underground. All right. The original underground route of train sim world. And this one's very interesting as well because every station is different. And uh, yeah, true to the uh, German uh, rails, uh, the underground, every station is unique and different. There's the main station at the top just there, that uh, dome in front there. But uh, it's not all, um, it's not modelled fully, unfortunately. I actually thought by now we would have had a station, the uh, main station actually on there, and the only way we would get it, I, I, yeah, I like to see it, the extension of the Nevergood Dresden and do what they did with Transim Classic, but when they do it, nah, I don't know. Still hopeful. have a amber light so we've got the clearance into the station and we have a train in front now so it's going to plague us for a little bit Yeah, would have loved to have talked about mods tonight for Transim World, but unfortunately nothing's come through. The only the only thing, as I explained, if you weren't with us earlier, uh, we normally start the show with uh, showing you guys the uh, TransimCommunity.com, but uh, we didn't have the chance to do it today. Because the simple fact that nothing's happened over the weekend uh, since I joined you last on Wednesday, uh, nothing nothing's come through. So uh, it's been very damn quiet. Uh, in the world of mods for Trans Sim World. So unfortunately, uh, nothing new. The only thing I have to report on is that there is a new category in uh, the trainsimcommunity.com and now they've put the uh, timetable mods into a category area called timetables. Uh, so yeah, all the timetable mods uh, are now in that location. The likes of the T-Valley's line timetable, the uh, Nidatanban uh, timetable, it's all up in there now. So. It's no longer in PC editor on the site. So yeah. So timetables have a category of their own now. And there's only three in there. There's only three in there, so yeah, nothing big. But I very hope soon and I hope I'm hoping very, very soon that we'll be able to finally get the chance to sh uh, showcase uh, a timetable mod that I've been looking forward to for many months now, and that is the uh, main Spizard Barn uh, modern uh, timetable. The, the uh, incredible uh, project has been uh, been looking at the forums. Uh, reported it a few months ago here on the channel and said that I'm ready to go. I'm keen as hell for that, and uh, been calling for Dovetail to actually do an upgrade to that route. Uh, yeah, I 
love to see it modernised and yeah, obviously after the uh, main tail barn you thought, you know, Stapy obviously going to end up doing uh, updated timetable and give us Todd 4 and the upgraded weather system, you know, the skybox and all that for the main, main Spenzard barn, but nothing's come through, so yeah. But who knows? In a couple of days in the roadmap, they might take, they might reveal it. Who knows? <laughs> hey, it'll be great if they did. But uh, yeah, that's that's hoping. <laughs> yeah, one route that definitely needs an East Coast way as well. Um, but I, I've said to you guys, if East Coast way, I'd love to see it also updated time to, you know, timetable. But uh, yeah, extend, extended like southeastern high speed one. Let's have a look at that train that's in front of us. She's just there. We've got a train right behind us now as well. And there's a train in front. The next one after that is there, but that's going the opposite way. Wilhelm, uh, I'm not going to pronounce that other one, Platz, platform one, next stop. Is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> if you pronounce it wrong, you gump and it'll come in and slap you. And they're not going to split the tag titles up. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they present new titles. Yeah, like the days, yeah. I think it will. Really it's going to build, they'll build the same model. Aye, oh, they're definitely able to. Okay, we've got a red signal in front. Dave training for us to get a plague us for the rest of the trip now. That'd be right. Hopefully it squeeze off off to the uh, portal up here further, but I highly, highly doubt it. Yeah, again it could actually. We'll see if I doubt. My apologies. That just slipped out. I apologize about that. Uh, that was sponsored by Pepsi. <laughs> All right, final of the underground stations. So yeah, they call this the cross city, uh, this, this particular section. 
Uh, it's um, the original underground stations of, uh, of Train Symbol. You know, not many people would would know that, uh, but only the the veterans or people that you know sort of have followed the game or know the history, even if they've started late. Um, you know, that have been told by certain people whatnot that they know about it, and they'll be like, yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, it is. It, this is the original underground stations of Train Symbol before, even before Bakerloo Line. I think this actually was the first ever DLC, German, German DLC, if I remember rightly too. I, I, I'm not sure if that is or not. I think it is. Yeah, so yeah, even I don't. Even, so even my brain has lapsed about the first German DLC. I'm pretty sure Rapid Transit was. Might be main spots, oh, I can't remember. Jeez, I know it was around all around the same time. I know it was when it was in that same year, like main spots, oh, Rapid Transit, yeah, Rusin on, Rails and all that. They're within the first era. It's like a Ran Ru came in 2020. I know that for a fact, because damn, that's yeah, that was one great route. It still is to this day. And that's another route I love to see modernised into an updated skybox and all that. But anyway, we can only get so much, so little, can we? We all want, and then, uh, yeah, we don't. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to leave things the way they are anyway. You know, you could take this route, for instance, you know, update the skybox, whatnot, and then it would just be ruined because it'd be more lag and all this stuff because all the upgrades and yeah you don't want to ruin that's one thing i'm worried about east coast way you know as much as i've always wanted to upgrade to that and whatnot i've just been always worried that if they do it you know with skybox and all that it might ruin the the, gr the frame rate and all that stuff because that's one route you, you know you can always rely on the frame rates always great it's just run smooth it's it, it's a beautiful route as it is and if they go and upgrade things it's like oh it's just ruined it you know what i mean But yet again, it could actually be beneficial because, uh, yeah, West Somerset Railway, for instance, uh, man, that, that was one route I always rated as one of the worst in train to world history, uh, more so because of the length of it, and it was just plain old boring. And they were missing all the steam services and all that stuff, you know, and um, it really badly needed an upgrade. And yeah, when it did, yeah, it's so much better now. Even though I still don't go to that route too often, um, but I'm more aligned to say, yeah, I'll go to that route if I want to now, where before it's like, I want to avoid that route as much as I possibly can. It's like sand patch grade. I have to avoid that route as much as I can. It's just too slow and boring and it takes forever. Um, and it, yeah, it's just ancient to me now. It's, you know, it is fun, but um, when you start, get, start going into it, but then when it's sort of towards, you know, after a certain amount of time of being on it, it's like, hurry up and get it done. You know what I mean? I wish they'd bring in um, more so an updated timetable to that route where we have shorter services, freight services, you know.
Yeah, so it looks like the next few months we're going to... I'm not sure if they're going to change it again after this DLC, but it uh, looks like for the next few DLCs going forward, we're getting back to Thursday DLCs for Train Sim World. Not sure if it's going to be the same case for Train Sim Classic. They might... They might move it to uh, Tuesdays. Yeah, they might flip it. Who knows? But yeah, the uh, DLCs Friday mornings here in Australia... this one going forward but yet again we have had this in the past where as well uh, where they've done a DLC release on a Thursday and then the following DLCs have gone back to the Tuesday so it could be a case where this could be the only DLC it'll be on the Thursday and then they'll go back to the Tuesday or they might just keep it for Thursday for a few months and then they'll change it back to Tuesday so like they've, they've done this in the past so many times in the history of Trans Civil World where they've had DLCs release on the Tuesdays and all of a sudden they change it the next few DLCs later to go to Thursday. But it hasn't happened like this for a while though. I do note that. I think the last time was in Trade Civil 2 era. So yeah, it has been a while. Anyway, that is the whole length of the trip there and there. Done. 28,601 in the end with a gold medal. Uh, couldn't have asked for anything better than that on level 799. And it uh, doesn't matter how many levels I am, but yeah. Um, we hope you enjoyed a full length trip on the Rapid Transit S Barn service there with the talent, uh, the great one there. Beautiful, beautiful trip was indeed. We've got plenty more to come. Don't go anywhere. Um, I can't remember what the hell we're doing tonight, actually. Uh, let me just go and have a look and see where else we were planning to go tonight, actually. Um, uh, The Southeastern High Speed with a Class 375. Hey, hey, that's what we're here for now. All uh, right. Uh, goody. Oldie, but a goody. Um, right. Where's the baby? Where's the weapon of choice? There it is. All right. Uh, full time table. You betcha. Uh, class 375. We're going to take the old blue one. It's been a while since I've taken the blue one, actually. So uh, let's do this on a nice uh, June uh, day with a light cloud. Uh, we'll take it on a little half an hour service. Uh, 14 hours 31. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fevisham Mount Chester. Mount Chester to Fevisham. Let's do that one. 29 minutes. Enjoy. Here we go. do know that this is uh, Itzia 165 sound modded we also have the enhancements pack for this route as well we have the orange PSI's mod installed
Yeah, the horn is, uh, yeah, not that good on this one. Really needs updating. There's one one complaint I've always had for the ET165 sound mods is that the horns uh, sound like they're being recorded in an empty room and they just got no character to them whatsoever. They just anything I diss about the mod. Next stop is Chatham. Please ensure you have a valid ticket for travel. You will be expected to produce your tickets on us to do so. Stand clear from the closing doors. DRA, DRA. Get in here next.
Hold your attention, please. Great circuit television and remote video monitoring is in use at this station for your personal safety and security. Stop his rain. This station is Rayhan. Jetpack! We seen that, you seen that. That guy went flying in the air. Mary Poppins, watch out! <laughs>
Coca-Cola, you betcha. Nah, I actually prefer Pepsi. So, but yeah, they, they've got the, uh, all the real, uh, snacks and whatnot, and the, uh, venti machine. No longer a pretzels, uh, Pringles one. What did I say? Pretzels? Well, <laughs> Pringles one. Actually, I'm not a bad fan of pretzels, actually. It's, it's quite nice, actually. I've got a habit of biting the salt off them. <laughs> It's a 465, that's also ETO 165 sound modded. As is every train on this route. Including the 700s. The RA. Sure that's off. Yeah, good to go. Let's get the jump start on it. This is the 81st edition of All Aboard. Our live chat has been disabled uh, due to uh, the first hour and a bit with nobody chatting away, so I thought, oh, well, we'll just have a chat-free stream. All comments will be held for review after the stream, and uh, do note any spam or rudeness will be automatically removed from our team of experts. Next stop, Sitting Bowl. Coming up this week on Australia Worldwide Gaming's live streaming action for Train Sim World. Choo Choo Tuesdays on Tuesday. And Midweek World of Trains on Wednesday. And Monday we are live with Sutterjet Line London Overground. We are live on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday this week with Train Sim World 4 on PC from 8pm in the east coast of Australia. That is also includes Queensland as now daylight saving has finished. 7.30pm South Australia, 6pm in Western Australia. The international viewers, we are live from 11 a.m. in UK, 12 p.m. in Central Europe, 6 a.m. East Coast USA, and 3 a.m. West Coast USA. Join us on our free fantastic live stream still to come this week on Train Sim World's live stream coverage of Australia Worldwide Gaming with your Aussie Dom. Yeah, another fantastic week coming up. Looking forward to it. It's going to be lots of fun, folks. So, yeah, we are live with Suffer Jet Line tomorrow. The viewer's choice is taking a few weeks off. Uh, viewer's choice. Forget I will be posting up some real life uh, rail uh, shorts up on the YouTube channel. I have posted one just before we went live tonight, actually, about five, ten minutes before we went live. Actually, it was posted. So, nice little short of uh, A set and the M set taking off at the same time uh, here in Sydney, Australia on uh, last Tuesday. Yeah, I was out and about doing uh, some truck spotting actually that day and then the rain came in and uh, it was one of the wet days we had over the last week and uh, yeah, it stuffed up my truck spotting so I didn't get as much done 
that. So I thought, you know, I'll just head back into uh, along, along the rails, and yeah, I decided to do that. Just rail fanning while training, train spotting. It's, it's not rail fanning, it's train spotting. Managed to get the damn southern uh, short haul freight train again. <laughs> I've already captured the thing twice on the YouTube channel. Um, I got one as a short, I got one as a long video. I actually got another long video of it this time around, but I'm really considering putting it back as a short. But yeah, I, uh, I seem to get this damn train. I know what time it roughly comes through. I wish I could get a, another freight train. Swords, but it's just sad to see the beach and get it from it. Right? Like I said, I don't go, I don't adventure, I haven't been adventuring too far out of the zone um, lately. But yeah, it will be a few weeks until I'm back uh, rail fanning anyway, after not this week, the following week anyway, because uh, with my daughter having my daughter. Two weeks holidays, so uh, it's uh, yeah, a bit less work for me. Which is alright anyway, it recharges my batteries. Sort of. <laughs> my daughter can be a handful of that way. She's like me with a sweet tooth, I tell you right now. God, she loves her, her Chevy. <laughs> we got these show bags with the Sydney Royal. Bag of rainbow straws and <laughs> God, that's much. the only decent thing in the show bags actually that were worth worth the price. That's where some of the prices of the show bags you get at the Sydney but yeah, you got at the Sydney Royal, you know, how you get like a big show bag with heaps and heaps of lollies in it. I swear the value in the little six dollar bags and that is more value in those lolly bags than the big thirty dollar bags, you know what I mean? As people don't realise, the one with the straws in it actually would probably were worth very a, a lot more. Because um, that's what I said to my daughter. I said you get a lot more lollies in in that one with that with just them shavers alone. Unfortunately, uh, like I said, I said you can't go crazy like uh, like Daddy does because yeah, I have both of my wisdom teeth on the same side, the top and bottom, being taken uh, taken out because of holes in my teeth. I've got another hole in a tooth in right next to the one at the front of on the bottom. I was meant to go to the dentist about it, but um, I'm not in pain or anything with it, so I um, I didn't bother going. I haven't rang up and told the reason why or anything. I just didn't go. <laughs> I like bugger it. I'm not in pain with it. It doesn't really bother me. I'm not getting another tooth taken out. I already sound like I've got a lisp anyway because of my teeth taken, like the two on the side being taken out. And after the last one that was taken out, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the amount of, amount of shit I went through on that one. <laughs> no thank you again. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos, and I'll say to you guys, I even said to Mary and I said, I won't be getting a freaking tattoo. <laughs> I felt that, I felt the, you know, what it would feel like anyway, when you get one. And I'm thinking, Jesus, this doesn't feel as bad as what, I, what the tooth was. I just don't like sitting in spots for so damn long, that's the problem, that's why I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't need to tell you the proof shit. So I say to everybody, if you've got a problem, step up or shut up. That's it.
My bad if you heard that out there, folks, but uh, yeah, it is true. I speak true. Uh, Fan machine coming up, uh, 5.6 miles to this one. We're going to get a Mersky line on the uh, truck there on the side, you betcha. Rail neck work on that van down there. Over the weekend, we have uh, we had uh, six. I think it was six or uh, five. Six, six American Truck Simulator uploaded videos uh, over the course of the weekend. I think five of them were more so on the weekend, and the sixth one was Friday morning. But yeah, we had uh, five, uh, six in total over the last couple of days. All fantastic trips. Our first uh, load of trips with the International uh, 9300 Eagle. Which was a mod truck that I uh, I did do a I think I did a 9300 a long time ago and it was the one with the the, the glow in the dark skeleton in the, in the truck that used to move around on the truck the emanated skeleton that thing was so cool when I used to have that truck they used to blow me away every time as you see that thing and then you know, do all these little funny character things in the truck I've never seen anything like it since actually. But yeah, if you're a trucking fan, holy, uh, holy hell, I, I'll tell you guys, go and check that out. And check our shorts area out itself as well. We've got real life truck shorts on there. I've got a whole heap of them I've got to post up still. I actually captured some on the real wet Friday um, going out to my mate's house, actually. Um, captured some uh, on Friday. On a very wet Friday afternoon. say summer's official well summer's officially over here it has been since um, the end of February but uh, it's been summer weather like for weeks now we're sort of coming out of it now but still some you know hot high 20s nothing f over 30 or anything still here and there but warm weather but yeah we're pretty much yeah over the, the real hot days are done and done or never summer so yeah it'll be interesting to see if uh, the US uh, if they say anything else about the US content on the roadmap this week I'll be so chuffed about if they don't give us any information regarding the San Bernardino line uh, photos and that highly sh well, surely this roadmap we're going to get some I'll be so like what's going on with the US content if nothing gets said in this roadmap and you know what I'll probably one of them will get on the forums and I'll just open up a thread and say hey enough's enough this is this is a joke like what's going on with the US content, you, you know, you really stiffen. Given the US rail fans are stiff in the arm, like, it's like, we don't care about you sort of thing, like, this is, like, enough's enough, like, come on. You wonder why people are starting to lose interest with uh, TSW. For me, it's, it's not a, like I'm not losing interest at all like because I'm a rail fan I, I, I love everything so you know we don't have our, our home country in the game you, you see me, me crying I, I don't really give a shit to be honest um, yeah, as much as it'd be nice you know I, I, I still don't give a rats you know, like, but when I see things that are getting released more so than others you know, you know I, I, 
I know for a fact that the US content, especially the freight stuff, has been given pretty much the flick. And uh, yeah, we know that the Steam stuff's also been given the flick. That's, that's cool. at our final destination on this trip. Okay, there we go with uh, that one. Uh, that is a gold medal. Very nicely done indeed. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all we've got time for for this week's edition of All Aboard Live. Thank you very much for watching me. A couple of nice little trips uh, this week. Uh, we're going to be finishing a little bit under the two hours this week, folks. Uh, so, a, um, yeah, not many viewers uh, watching this this week, so uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Do note uh, our time that the time zones uh, in your particular area in the UK and Europe have changed and the US and everywhere because Daylight Saving has finished here in Australia and I've been pre-warning you guys about this over the last couple of weeks that the time zones were changing and then the time zones were going to change again because... Your time zones in the US uh, changed a few, about a month ago. The UK's finish uh, started last weekend. And then I said, explain to you guys that you guys start your daylight saving last weekend where ours finished this, this weekend. So I said to you guys, the times were changing last week uh, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and uh, when it's 8 p.m. here. And then because of our daylight saving finishing here in Sydney, um, it, the times were changing again, so it was from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. UK time zone. Just give that as an example. Uh, so yeah, now that's what's happening. So don't forget this week's live streaming, and for the next few months going forward, except if we've got a special live stream, will be an hour earlier with our special live stream. So don't forget on the 19th of this month, on Friday the 19th, we're going to be live at. 10 a.m. UK, 11 a.m. Central Europe, 5 a.m. Eastern USA, and 2 a.m. Los Angeles time zone when it's 7 p.m. here in the East Coast of Australia. Uh, so do know that that's when we're going to be doing our next special live stream. But every other live stream before the 19th uh, will be live with Train Sim World on Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays from 8 p.m. in Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, Victoria and Tasmania here in Australia, 7.30pm in South Australia, 6pm Western Australia, 11am UK, 12pm Central Europe, 6am East Coast USA, 3am West Coast USA. Join us tomorrow, that's when we're going to be starting our stream tomorrow, also Tuesday and Wednesday this week. We'll see you tomorrow for our Monday live stream where we'll be heading to the London Overground Suffragette Line 
for a couple of hours of fantastic entertainment fun on one of the great UK routes. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Join us tomorrow for London Overground Suffragette Live, live on our YouTube channel. This screen you're seeing right now is the cover photo for tomorrow's live stream. Set the reminder now. It is in on our upcoming live streams area as I speak to you. The Suffragette Line, live this Monday, the 8th of April 2024 at Australia Worldwide Gaming.